Well, I didn't think it would take seven or eight videos to get through a KLR 650 engine build, but things go a lot slower when you're building things from a box. So I'm ready to call this one done. But before we do that, I need to get the starter and generator slash magneto assemblies in, and then we can move on to bigger and better things. So let's get started. Now I need to get this uh, magneto rotor in place and then uh, but before I do that I need to have the Woodruff key in. Before I do either one of those though, um, I certainly want to make sure I've oiled this one way uh, bearing and make sure it's not dry. But I do not want oil on the crankshaft or inside here simply because this is a press fit part so I want to make sure those are dry going on. So now we need to make sure the shim is in place. Make sure the notch is aligned. So you're gonna need a 19 millimeter socket, but also you're gonna need a way to hold this whole assembly. And this is the Eagle Mike uh, tool, which is really nice, well worth the money. So it is first 15 foot pounds for this first go. Okay, so 85 foot pounds. Again, this is really where having an engine stand would be ideal.
I 3D printed some case cap covers for this generator cover. Um, you can see that in a different video that I've posted. So the ones I'm installing now are just temporary. In any case, I'm glad to be done with this assembly. I just have a few things to button up before we can call this engine complete. And as always, thanks for watching. And if you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe.